Frank Robertson, Kelly Ring, Roy Leafs Weather, Andy Hardy on Sports, Channel 13 Eyewitness News at 6. In tonight's news for your health, sometimes science uncovers valuable medical benefits in otherwise harmful substances. Your health reporter Steve Geiger tells us about the very latest discovery. Yeah, it's the kind of discovery, Kelly, that most people don't expect. An organism that causes a deadly kind of food poisoning is being used to treat muscle spasms, the type of spasms that literally leave people speechless. Good morning, accounting department. Can you hold, please? Barbara Rood is talking with the help of a poison, botulism toxin, better known for causing paralysis after food poisoning. But doctors are now using small doses to control spasms of the vocal cords. This is how Barbara sounded just before the injections. Uh, my voice was real strangled sounding. It was very effortful to speak. That can happen when muscles that normally produce sound by pulling the vocal cords together contract involuntarily. Instead of controlling the spasm by cutting a nerve, her doctors chose to immobilize it with poison. The toxin itself being a paralytic agent will paralyze the spastic muscle, relieving the spasm and relaxing the muscle. To make sure the injection paralyzes the right muscle, one doctor looks directly at the vocal cords, while another monitors electrical signals from the muscle contraction. Okay, that's it. The effects last three to six months, then the injections may be repeated. A few people have temporary difficulties swallowing, but so far small amounts of the toxin are considered safe in the muscle as long as it doesn't hit the bloodstream. The injections are also being used for muscle spasms, severe writer's cramp, and musician's hand. For people like Wanda Glaze, it's been a frustrating search for an answer. I went to 12 doctors in 10 months trying to find out what was wrong with me. The injections allowed her to keep her speaking and singing voice. Home, home on the range. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. While the injections are not considered a cure, they've already made a tremendous difference for people who found no other help. Now, the organism that causes botulism is only approved for use in treating eye spasms, the kind of spasms that make some people cross-eyed. But the government approval allows doctors to try the treatment on other forms of muscle spasms. So is this treatment dangerous at all? Well, it can be if the person doing the procedure is not adequately trained. During the course of the studies, only one person came down with a mild case of bleeding, and that was about it. So it is safe and effective. Okay, good. Thank sure. you very much, Steve.